The College of Health Sciences serves close to 1,800 students and over 50 full-time faculty and staff members with state-of-the-art labs, ample classroom space, technology resources, gymnasiums, fitness equipment, an organic urban garden, 400-meter running track, open field space, and so much more. Our motto at the University of Memphis is driven by doing. We're in the top tier among national universities in the latest U.S. News & World Report, and we're on our way to earning Carnegie R1 status. Let's take a peek inside the Elmer Rohn Fieldhouse, home of the College of Health Sciences. We currently offer six undergraduate and six graduate degree programs, along with two minors and a graduate certificate. Our first stop is our main administrative office suite. This is a one-stop resource for our students. Our academic services team offers advising that helps ensure student success. Our internship coordinator partners with nationally recognized companies and organizations to offer students hands-on work experience. It's part of our learning by doing approach. We also have our administrative associate, assistant director of student services, business officer, and of course our dean, Dr. Rick Bloomer. Other staff who help ensure the stability and growth of our college are the Director of Academic Innovation and Student Success, Director of Academic Programs, our own Career Specialist, Coordinator of Recruitment and Pre-Enrollment Activities, and our Marketing and Communications Manager. We're also driven by research. In addition to our academic expansion, our research program has grown significantly in recent years. Our labs are well equipped and we have developed a strong research focus in health science specific inquiry. Our Center for Nutraceutical and Dietary Supplement Research includes over 1,500 square feet of molecular biology and biochemistry labs. The mission of the center is to investigate botanical agents, dietary ingredients, and finished dietary supplements in terms of safety and efficacy through the use of cell culture experiments, animal studies, and human clinical trials. So here we have a chemical analyzer. We do a lot of clinical studies where we test uh, metabolic parameters within our subjects. Things like glucose levels, insulin, liver function. And so this, um, so it's a chemical analyzer and it can measure all those types of metabolites within um, our human or in our animal populations in the studies we do. Um, we also have a hematology machine and so this little machine over here um, is used to analyze white blood cell counts. So you can discriminate between monocytes, lymphocytes. Um, and so again, we use this both for our human clinical trials and, or, and our animal studies. Um, it's very helpful for our immune type analysis that we do. Over here we have a flow cytometer. It's a tuned flow cytometer. Um, it's used uh, for cell analysis. We are very proud of this machine. It's the only one on the University of Memphis campus. Um, so flow cytometers are used to analyze cell types um, and also proteins within cells. Um, and so this is a, a tune flow cytometer and we have two lasers on this specific machine. This room is primarily used for cell culture. That is, we have cells we have incubators that allow us to keep them in physiological conditions, um, temperature and CO2 and oxygen percentages, um, and then hoods that allow us to work with them in a sterile fashion. Um, and so these hoods allow us to, to keep the cells from being infected with anything and allow us to manipulate them for our studies. All right, in this room we do most of our primary cell culture work, that is cells that are isolated freshly from either humans or from animals. Um, so those cells are done in here. We also have incubators and a hood in order to work with these cells. Here we have a irradiator. This is a, an instrument that allows us to give a measured dose of radiation to cells. Um, and we use this to induce cellular senescence in cells, which is a physiological process where the cells become less proliferative, more inflammatory, um, and it is analogous to a process that happens in aging um, in our cells in our body. Here we have a um, inverted fluorescence microscope. This allows us to look at cells um, via microscopy and to label them with fluorescent tags in order to determine what type of cells they are. It also has the ability to do serial imaging in live cells so we can keep the cells alive and measure them um, over time. And this allows us to, to manipulate them and look at how they respond um, kinetically. 
And then um, finally back here in the corner, this is a seahorse instrument. This is an instrument that allows us to measure metabolism in real time in our cells. And so we can measure various um, metabolic pathways like glycolysis, fatty acid oxidation in real time in cells. Uh, we can manipulate the cells and determine how they respond metabolically to those manipulations with this instrument. Next is another molecular biology and biochemistry lab space. This lab includes standard and specialized equipment for processing, storing, and analyzing samples. Hi, uh, my name is Yufeng. So this is our uh, biochemistry molecular lab. And uh, as you guys can see here, we have a regular bench area that uh, have regular, you know, laboratory equipment. We have a water bath over there. We have a, a, a small incubator, centrifuge, uh, discount scale, all that kind of uh, 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 basic uh, research equipment. And we also have a, a, a deep centrifuge, a deep centrifuge, offer centrifuge that can spin down uh, at uh, 200,000 RPM, I think, uh, that we use it to, you know, isolate different, uh, isolate mitochondria, different organelles. We have a water pur purifying system right there, uh, so it gives us uh, nanopure water that uh, uh, we use. Hello, hi, uh, my name is Chida Ramanathan, uh, working here. So this is a basic uh, uh, centrifuge uh, we use for isolation of mRNA and uh, cold centrifuge. So this uh, bench area is basically we work for uh, gel electrophoresis and uh, this bench area we work for mainly western blot and uh, the stain procedure. So here a lot of instrument uh, the segregated based on the different work. So we have the minus 20 then we have uh, different uh, cold freezer here, we stored all the samples and uh, all the reagents here. So pretty much this room is uh, uh, covered here. Let's go to the next room. So this uh, one is a more sterile place. We work with uh, all the reaction, particularly setting up the PCR, qPCR uh, reaction setup. So here our uh, uh, PCR machine. After we have the PCR, we need amplifying genes. We used this instrument to amplify uh, gene-related work. And uh, this one, this instrument is, uh, and we do all the uh, gene expression profile. It's a qPCR machine. So we used uh, gene expression study. We used this qPCR machine. This is a uh, recent uh, Quantum Studio 6. Uh, it's a top uh, notch right now instrument used for this experiment. And uh, this experiment, this instrument we used for uh, staining the gel and uh, take picture from the western plot and uh, gel electrophoresis, uh, other uh, gel uh, staining. And uh, this uh, instrument we used for uh, microplate reader. Okay, so this is uh, uh, called Ouroboros that basically measure a very unique equi equipment, basically measure mitochondrial respiration and mitochondrial membrane potential can also measure reactive oxygen species production that uh, a lot of our research on is on mitochondria. And this room is basically a histology room. Uh, this is a, uh, a section, a slice, slicer that would basically slice the uh, samples. And this is our uh, autoclave that we basically sterilize all the equipment and all the buffers medias that we need to use. And this is a regular uh, film clip that we prepare chemicals as you guys can see here, all the things in there. Okay. So this uh, nano trap instrument, uh, this is a very tiny instrument, is a very critical instrument for molecular biology lab. Whenever we isolate the total RNA or DNA uh, for quantification of the nucleic acid, this instrument is a very vital instrument for molecular biology. Uh, we used always uh, heavy used instrument in the lab. One of our current research studies is evaluating how different dietary supplements can improve gaming performance. We have lab space specifically set up for high-level gamers. We also have space dedicated to our minor in medical assisting. Coursework allows students to obtain the necessary knowledge and practical skills needed to sit for the National Certification Exam in Medical Assisting. This space is for our new Surgical Technology Program in partnership with Methodist Lamonor Healthcare. This is part of the University of Memphis MLH Associate Advancement Program, otherwise known as MAP. The curriculum is offered through a combination of online and in-lab learning.
Next is our Musculoskeletal Analysis Lab and Human Performance Center, which provides elite science support to improve human performance by solving applied practical challenges. The strength of the lab and center is the scientific background of the highly credentialed scientists involved, which when combined with the experiential knowledge of practitioners, becomes a unique resource to the University of Memphis. Okay, so uh, we are in the Musculoskeletal Analysis Lab here in the Elmer Elmer Fieldhouse. This lab houses all our biomechanics uh, and some of our physiology equipment uh, for use in research and also uh, athletic testing. We have uh, four or five faculty that actively do research in this facility. Uh, instruments that we have include uh, two 3D motion capture system uh, from Qualysis. We have uh, two uh, ground embedded AMTI force platforms, one Vertec instrumented treadmill, two EMG systems, and we have an uh, ISO kinetic dy dynamometer just behind me. We've got uh, IMUs, accelerometers, wireless and wired. We have uh, wi wireless force insoles, planar pressure insoles uh, from various companies, uh, and a number of other biomechanical type instruments. Uh, in terms of the physio physiological instruments, we've got uh, a med cart, metabolic cart uh, for uh, various uh, applied tests that we do with athletes in clinical populations. Uh, and all of these instruments, like I said, are used for primarily for student research and funded research and also for testing within our athletics department. Um, and for a full list of all our instruments, our website uh, within uh, ESMS unit uh, has a listing of all the instruments. Yeah. All right, so this is our, our metabolic card for indirect calorie imagery, gas exchanges. Uh, we've got our EMG set up over here that is wireless. Uh, we've got our Vertex split belt instrument treadmill here to measure forces while walking or riding on a treadmill. All around us here on the struts uh, is a 3D motion capture system that we use for gait analyses and other uh, measurements of movements. Okay, this is our isokinetic dynamometer. Uh, we use this for pre and post intervention assessments of uh, muscle group forces and also for training purposes uh, in rehabilitation studies. So this is our overground movement analysis collection area. So we have uh, 10 cameras, uh, 3D motion capture cameras above us on the struts. We have these two force platforms in the ground. Uh, everything is um, sort of synced with EMG system, uh, IMUs, accelerometers. And we have this uh, hitting net uh, behind behind us here for uh, more sporting activities like softball, or softball, soccer, and baseball. We have a 2,000 square foot space utilized for dance, yoga, and special events. We also have conventional gyms used by our physical education and exercise science students, as well as over 6,000 square feet of space for our exercise science activity courses. So we use this space primarily as an instructional space, something that we use for hosting some of our classes that are based in, uh, of course, exercise and actually applying some of the principles that we're teaching in our more lecture focused courses like biomechanics, exercise physiology, special populations and those sorts of things. Um, we've made a, an effort to have a lot of open space here so that we can spend time uh, with some of the larger classes, sometimes as many as 40 students in this room at a time. Um, that way we can kind of split up and get into groups and do things like movement analysis. We can do uh, talking about technique. We can talk about different joints, muscles, planes of movement, all of those things. Um, and as you've seen downstairs, we've also got a lot of other resistance training equipment like free weights. We've got barbells, platforms, uh, training plates. We've got machine loaded, selectorized, um, loading equipment, things like that. And then we just have some other pieces up here as well. So we've got uh, some equipment that we just use for uh, like cardiovascular fitness, some conditioning, uh, some of our more uh, metabolically related sort of class questions and things like that. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of medicine balls over here. We can take those actually into the gym next door. We've also got a 400 meter running track outside that we use for some of those purposes as well. So we have all of our plate loaded equipment back here, barbells, uh, squat racks, we've got bench press stations. We've also got selectorized loading equipment here, um, four sided cable columns with multiple different attachments so we can explore some other different uh, movement patterns and things there. 
Uh, on the back side, we've got some dumbbells, we've got some kettlebells, some things that are really useful for sort of uh, training out in open space and getting into different planes of movement and things like that. Um, and we make an effort in this space as a whole to really combine a lot of different types of training. So one of the things that we think is really valuable for a lot of our students, especially at the 2000 level, uh, this, this space is primarily used for ESMS 2015, which is resistance and aerobic training applications. And the reality is some of our students don't have a lot of exercise experience. They don't have a strong background in good exercise technique. Um, they may not be comfortable with how to scale or to progress and regress exercise. So there's benefit literally for anybody who might want to be uh, involved in corporate wellness, in uh, group fitness, in personal training, strength and conditioning, and even rehabilitation based uh, professions as ultimately we try to deliver the message that exercise is the input in all of those professions. So um, that's really the classroom based application of this room. Um, we do also use this space for interventions involved with uh, some of our research, uh, more specifically training studies. So when we have participants that need to uh, follow through on maybe a four, a six, an eight week exercise protocol as part of the research question, uh, we do have a lot of the tools that we need to be able to do that here as well. Okay, in um, Fieldhouse 151 and 153, we also have more uh, resistance training equipment that we can use to sort of diversify and enhance um, the learning that happens in there with some of our classes. In 151, we've got primarily uh, barbells, weight plates, platforms, squat stands, so we can do a lot of our sort of open space um, free weight exercise. In 153, we've got a lot more plate loaded machines. Uh, we've got some dumbbells, we've got some benches in there to sort of highlight the contrast between different types of training to the students. In that room, there's also um, a DEXA machine, which we do not use for the classroom, uh, but in a lot of our research studies, we've got um, involvement of a DEXA to evaluate things like bone mineral density, uh, body fat percentage. Our college accommodates almost 1,800 students with six smart classrooms within our building, all equipped with the latest technology and resources to ensure faculty and student success. One of our classrooms is set up with an overhead camera for a bird's eye view of hands-on instruction. Throughout the college, we showcase faculty and student research, healthy teaching kitchen recipes and nutritional information, student spotlights, academic resources, information, and announcements. Our lounge area is popular with students for breaks between classes, group projects, and studying. Here they have access to whiteboards, a mini fridge, microwave, computers, and printer. Our computer lab is open to students and for classroom instruction. It has 24 computers, printer, and projection screen. Our college has individual office space for each faculty and staff member, shared space for graduate assistants, along with on-site conference rooms for meetings and presentations. Adjacent to our building lies the Tigers Garden, which stands for Tigers Initiative for Gardens in Urban Settings. The garden shares the benefits and techniques that make for a healthy gardening and green space experience. This is also used by our nutrition unit for their annual summer Camp Chef program for kids. We'd like to thank you for taking time to learn about the College of Health Sciences at the University of Memphis. For more information and lists of our lab equipment, you can find us online at memphis.edu slash health sciences. Remember to follow us on social media and feel free to contact us with any questions.